They contain 40% of the world's fresh water. The tallest mountains on Earth, home to 55,000 glaciers, source to seven of Asia's greatest rivers. But our most precious resource is disappearing one drop at a time. What's happening in the Himalayan glaciers is incredibly complex. Most glaciers appear to be melting. The people of Asia face an uncertain future. From Nepal to the Tibetan Plateau, Bhutan to India and the Bay of Bengal, their way of life is under threat. The climate is changing and life as we know it, from the mountains to sea, is falling out of balance. Glacial lakes reach critical capacity and burst. Droughts threaten one slush farmlands. Weather patterns become unpredictable. Thousands of miles downstream, sea levels rise, forcing coastal villagers from their farmlands and into crowded inner cities. I think we had never a phenomenon where what is happening in the glaciers and in the downstream area is so closely linked. The Himalayas are the water towers of Asia. When the water tower dries out and two billion people don't have water to drink anymore, to irrigate their farms, to run industry, then there's going to be serious problems. This is going to change the entire eco-balance of at least nine or ten major river systems. There's a question about whether we're going through a period of global warming, and I don't think it's important. What is important is that the environment is changing, that climate is changing. This is a wake-up call, and we still have time to do something about it. We just need to hear this alarm. The people of Asia are answering the call, harnessing determination, spirituality, and science to adapt and survive in the face of a Himalayan meltdown. <laughs>